Hello everybody and welcome to this video where we are going to talk about is there a way that we, just we, can save poetry? Can we do it? Let's figure this out. So um, I'm bringing this up because a funny thing, um, I was listening to an old um, Slee Ricketts secret show episode where um, Bucks and fucking Brian were where they were talking about this guest that was on Poetry Says who was a um, the head of a publishing company that is not doing well and he made the statement that you know if everyone who read poetry just bought one poetry book every month the poetry industry would be fine. It's a crazy statement-ish. And then, like, Bucks and Brian were talking about that, trying to figure it out, and going back and forth on how silly the statement was for the most part. And then they started getting into, like, the arts and should the government be putting money into the arts and all this other shit. And it got, like, really hairy. And it's a, it's a good episode. I really, really enjoyed that episode. Something struck me about this whole thing. And when the publisher is saying, you know, if only everyone would buy one poetry book a month, like, poetry would be fine. I'm sitting here going, I have a lot of customers that buy at least one of my books a month, you know? But he's not talking about me. He's talking about the publishers who put out, like, book books and send them to stores and all this shit. And then that got me thinking. I'm like, I feel like at least, like, my poetry and the people who I work with's poetry is doing really good. You know, so maybe the problem here is the fucking publishers. Like, I think poetry is fine. And there's tons of people on Instagram who are killing it with poetry. There's people on YouTube who are killing it with poetry and then getting book deals on top of it. Jesus fucking Christ. So it seems like maybe some of the publishers just aren't very good at their job and can't seem to keep the fucking lights on if... You know, they can't fucking do the thing. The other thing here is, is if we're talking about it from this side, is if you want someone to buy at least one book of poetry every month, you have to be able to release good fucking content. Because if people are, like, I feel like a lot of people probably do buy a poetry book every month if they love poetry. But it might not be new releases because a lot of the new stuff isn't very good. Or a lot of people aren't into the new stuff and they like the old stuff. So they buy like collections of people who they already know they love, that they want more of their stuff, you know? But that doesn't help you either if you're only putting out new shit. So again, this comes to business. And if the poetry you're putting out isn't selling, there's two things there. A, either the people who like poetry don't like the poetry you're putting out. Or B, you don't know how to market your poetry. So the people who do like poetry don't even fucking know you exist. Okay? So sitting there and fucking going, God, if only people would just buy one book. Like, what the fuck is that? You want people to reward you for being a fucking bad businessman? That's a fucking dumbass fucking thing to do. Because then more people will be buying books, and however you have mucked up this business, you will continue to muck it up, now with more money to lose. Like, what the fuck is that? I don't know. Like, and then if we talk about, like, well, you know, this is the poetry that's being made right now in this area, so it should be documented. 
And that, I'm all for. I'm all about that. But I don't know if that's a good business model. That just sounds weird to me. But this other thing um, came up. It's, it's funny that this came up because over the last two weeks, I've gotten a few emails from people asking me if I have a subscription service, like for my chapbooks, since I put them out all the time. And I have, but I never really talk about it because it's just, it's never really been a thing. So I'm thinking maybe I should talk about it a little bit here because I am selling poetry books every month to people. So um, maybe since I'm doing the thing that he said should be done, I should let everyone know that I'm doing that thing. So here's the deal. I just lowered all my prices on Patreon, okay? So on Patreon, I have a digital, it's called Digital Plus, where you get a PDF download of a chapbook every month. And I think what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing older chapbooks. So you'll get a PDF version of an older chapbook. And then you get other stuff like the poetry I post on there, the music I post on there, um, things of that nature. Um, any kind of like broadsides or prints that you could um, download and print out if you want to do that. Then there's the postcard tier. And the postcard tier gives you like the digital stuff plus like one of these postcards with like a poem on the back um, signed and numbered and all that shit. And then there's the chat book plus which gives you all of the shit I already talked about plus the postcard. Um, and I'm going to throw the blood rag in with that stuff and also whatever chat book I'm putting out that month. Okay. And then sometimes if I do, um, more than one chat book in a month, maybe you'll get both of those, you know? So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, so all those prices have come down. So if you go over to, um, I think it's patreon.com slash Matt wall, you can see the different tiers, or if you go to, I hate Matt wall.com, you can do that. Um, but back to this guy saying everyone should buy a book of poetry every month and it would save poetry. I don't think that's the case because like, like we've learned with all things, if the top of the fucking ladder doesn't know what the fuck it's doing, it's going to fuck up everything below it. So maybe that's where we need to like, look, maybe the editors and the publishers need a good kick in the ass because honestly, I've seen how they market stuff. I've seen how they do shit and it's really bad. It's like fucking like elementary school romper room fucking bullshit. And I think if anyone, especially with how many different ways you can market to an audience. If anyone with any fucking knowledge of anything was at the head of one of these places, they'd be killing it. Plus, you would also need an editor who actually had good taste in poetry. And those seem a bit um, few and far between, let's say. So anyway, what do you think about this? Let me know down below. Let me know what you think. Do you think if everyone who liked poetry bought one book of poetry a month, the publishing landscape can be saved. Do you think that? Well, guys, keep buying my books or go over to Patreon and just sign up and you'll just get shit every month, whether you like it or fucking not. Type art, everybody, and I'll talk to you later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.